Hey guys, what's going on? It is Cam here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be reviewing the M1955 flak vest. Uh, so, I made a video about this before, but I didn't really go that in-depth with it. So, that's what this video is for. So, let's get right into it. So, this this particular one was made May 18, May 28th, sorry, 1980. It's a large. Uh, that was the last year that they made them, 1980. And this specific pattern with the nylon uh, pockets was made was started being made in 1967. But before that, it was the same exact um, vest, just without the nylon pockets. Because uh, the, the, the entire jacket is a cotton material for like the outside, except for the pockets, it's just nylon, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to go into detail about the specifics of this flag vest. So the top of it, the it, it's more of like, uh, I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like the M69 flag vest up top, but then at the bottom, well it starts right here, it has uh, door on plates. I can't remember how many are exactly in it. I think it's like 23 or 24 or something like that. But that's all along the front and the back of the lower half to, right to here, basically. There's one right there, one right there, and then right there, that's the edge of one. So that's where they are. Um, all along the inside, there's openings, so you can see, uh, well, kind of between, between the plates, there's a... Yeah, there's one right there. There's one on, this, on, the, on the other side, there's two openings right here. Uh, I can't, yeah, there's uh, the same on that side. Uh, there's openings on the bottom as well. And as you can see, one of the plates right there. Uh, there's, a, there's a pocket right here. Uh, there's a little smaller pocket next to it for a pencil or pen and then this for like a notepad. Uh, the pockets have really big buttons, so this one's already opened. And then you put it on the, the slit like a normal button instead of snaps. And then it has a, a zipper obviously with uh, four, four snaps. It has one of these, I have no idea, I guys, I have no idea what this is. Someone can tell me what, what this is used for. Uh, I'd appreciate it. I have no idea. Uh, the tag, which has all the information on it, 70% of all combat casualties are caused by fragmentation type weapons, etc, etc. Uh, US Marine Corps. It has a slight collar on it, which is hardly even a collar at all, but it's better than nothing. Uh, shooter's cord right here. Uh, I don't really know what else to go over. Flip it over so you can see the see the back of it. You can see all the different plates on it. See the back of the shooter's cord. Oh yeah, okay, all along the back and the front are these uh little uh, uh eyelets. I think would be the proper term for them. Where you can put M1910 gear through it. Stuff like canteens and uh, jungle first aid pouch, Carlisle first aid pouch, uh, stuff like that, which I think that's really cool. Uh, yeah, so this this one I have right here is in really really good condition. It was never it wasn't issued or anything, and it has all the the teeth and the zipper. There's no teeth missing or anything. There's all the snaps and everything. So. Uh, normally, I this is the only one that I found that was in such good condition, like on eBay at the time. But these things are being posted and taking and being bought off of eBay constantly. I go on eBay, even though I already have one, and search for them just to see what's up and how the like what the prices are. And I believe there's there's a pattern. There's like one of these without the pockets on it on eBay right now for like eighty bucks. But that might have gone up, like because at the time of recording this, it was up for eighty bucks. But I'm not going to buy it because I already have one. But yeah, so I'd say if you're going to buy one of these and uh, your impression is like past 1968, then go for a type like this. 
But if it's like uh, 67, 68, or 4, I would not get one of these with the nylon pockets. I would look for one without the pocket, the big old pockets on it. Because uh, I did not know at the time of buying this that these were all, that these were only starting to be made in 67. So if I could have gone back, I probably wouldn't have got one of these with the big old pockets. But it's still really cool to have. It's better than to use a uh, 1969 black vest. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's basically it. There's some marks right there. I don't know what that stands for. It's like 19, and then another number, and then N. Someone can tell me what that means. That'd be cool. But yeah, so that's basically it. Just a quick review of this flag vest. I, I really do like it. It's a lot more uncomfortable than an M69 flag vest, because it doesn't really adjust to your body as well, and you also can't adjust the sides, because there's a plate right on the sides. So you kind of have to deal with it. This thing is huge on me. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. I'd say, because I got a large, just because that was like, it was a really, really good price for any flat at all. For any one of these. And I would say get, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty small person. I'm only, I'm only five, I'm only about five, six, five, seven. And I weigh 115. I look like a square when I wear this. I would have probably gotten a small, but it, it's all, it works. I'm going to grow, I'll grow into it and everything. So I don't really mind, especially if I'm wearing all my gear over it. I don't really care. I mean, yeah, no, all my, all my gear under it, sorry. I'm wearing it over all my gear. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Cam, and I'll see you guys later.